Okay, today we are going to make hand sanitizer. A lot of folks are running out of hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer can be made safely at home if you have the right ingredients. So in order to make hand sanitizer, you need a few things. The first thing you need is isopropyl alcohol and it needs to be at least above 90%, preferably 99%. The reason is, in order for hand sanitizer to be effective, it has to be at least 60% alcohol. Now the recipe for this calls for one-third aloe vera gel and two-thirds isopropyl alcohol. If you add those together, that means you're diluting this 99% to about 66%. Okay, so that's just above 60, which is the amount you need to have for it to be effective hand sanitizer. Okay, the other thing you need besides the alcohol is aloe vera gel, as I mentioned earlier, and a bottle. So my kids uh, gave me one of their soap bottles that we used, uh, have used up, and then we emptied it out and cleaned it out thoroughly so that it has nothing else in it. Okay, and you're going to need a measuring glass and some water. The reason you need water is because we're going to see how much this volume contains. Okay, and then you need something to stir it up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cleaned glass out, a cleaned uh, dispenser out. We're going to pour some of this water in until we fill it up. Okay, and we're going to see that this container holds about almost exactly one cup. Okay. It's one cup. All right. We had a little break here while we uh, dried out this uh, container here because we wanted to make sure we got the moisture out. And with the remaining water, I'm going to just pour that in another cup there and make sure this gets dried out. Okay, so now that we have dried out our two containers, we're going to make our hand sanitizer. Now, since I measured it as a cup, we want a third of that cup to contain the aloe vera gel. So we're going to take this off and we're going to pour this in until we get to about a third cup. And this one's kind of hard because it's so jelly. You might have to let it settle a little bit to see that we got a third. But if we shake it around, you can see that it gets to about a third cup. Okay. And then we're going to add two thirds of a cup of isopropyl alcohol. Okay. It already smells like hand sanitizer. You can smell this alcohol. We're going to stir this up. Now we have to stir this a little bit to make sure that the aloe vera gel breaks up. Okay, so I'm stirring it up and then I get most of the lumps out and it's starting to get to one consistency now. It's kind of like jello before it gets hard. Just kind of getting a little bit firm. I'm getting no, no big chunks in here, so now it'd be safe to pour into my container. I'm going to pour that in. We'll make sure we get the measurement right. So we want to get all the gel in there. Probably could have stirred it a little bit longer, but I was rushing for the video. I probably should have stirred it longer. Okay. And then we're going to put the lid on. 
And we'll just continue to shake it up a little bit until it gets all blended together. For a while, it's got a better consistency now. It's a little bit more like this hand sanitizer. Still a little liquidy, but it's got the right alcohol content, so I can use this to Squirts. sanitize my hands. I want to make sure that I get it in all the areas of the hand, cover the whole hand, and make sure you keep rubbing until the alcohol evaporates. Okay. And that's it. My hands are dry. I have hand sanitizer.